Hello and welcome to this training video for OpenBridge Modeler Connect Edition. This is Jared Larkin with Forsgren Associates. I'm here working as an engineer in training and I've just been tasked with creating a tutorial of sorts for those who will be learning how to use OpenBridge Modeler Connect Edition. So just from the get-go, I'm assuming everyone knows how to acquire the necessary licenses and open up the software and you know downloads and all that sort of stuff. So just from this screen here, first thing you'll select is the Imperial or Metric Standards, depending on what you're working with. I'm going to be using the Metric Standards because the bridge plans I'm referencing are in Metric. Next is you'll want to either create a sort work set or select an existing work set. Um, if you create a work set, you'll just type in a name and a description, and you can base the template off a already existing or what I did is when I typed did one um, just, just typing something random there it has these defaults and I just left everything as the default when I created my work set and I've already had the work set made so I'm not going to create a second um, but I just have the Salem Bridge work set which because the bridge I'm going to be doing is called well the Salem Bridge anyway so starting off you just click new file and it will just take you to the default save location um, and that works for me you can change the save location if you want I'm just going to name the file Salem Bridge now I, it has a seed and I just leave the default seed in there and the seed just basically is a starting point for your file and so you, you need the seed and you can, I know there's a way to create new seeds if you want, like, a start point that's further along. Um, but we won't be covering that in this tutorial. I'm just going to be starting here with the default seed. So I'll click Save, and then it'll create the file, and it'll open it up. And it might take a little while. Alright, so now this is open, I'm going to just first talk a little bit about just the setup. So up here we have the workflow option. We're going to be just working the Open Rich Modeler workflow. There's these other options, but we won't be covering those in this video. There's also the various tabs here with different tools, and we'll go over those as we reach them. And over here on the side, you can have these pop-outs. Um, when I first opened up this software, these were not here. I added these in later because I just found them useful. Um, but how you do that is if you ever have a window open that you just like to like to have a common reference to, you can just drag it over to this spot, and it'll plop it over here, click the pin, and it'll hide it for you. If you change your mind, you want it back out, you just hover over it, pin it back out, and then you can just click and drag it back down. So I just have properties in Explorer um, because I reference properties frequently enough and Explorer can be useful for finding specific things. Um, I mean I don't think I'll reference these too often in the training video but you can just throw whatever you use a lot over here on the side. And finally um, something I will be using in the video a bit is this AccuDraw. When I first opened the software for the first time I did not have this open so I'll just show you where to find that. Um, so if you just close it out if you need that AccuDraw you can just come here to the ribbon and then there's this toggle AccuDraw and it'll also show you where you can find it in the ribbons. So you can go to Open Rich Modeler, Home, Primary, More. So yeah, Home, Primary, More. And it's under the Open Rich Modeler workflow. And I find it easier just to type it up here in the search bar. Just click that, it opens it up. And I just drag it down here to the bottom, and boom. And if you don't have this AccuDraw opened up, if you want to follow along with my videos, I would suggest you do, because I will be using it. All right. So now that we got the basic layout started, next thing we'll be getting into is creating of the alignment.